Hey y'all, happy Motivational Monday. So I started out this morning typing my journal entry that I was gonna be sharing with you for today, but now I think I'm gonna hold off on tomorrow because in the process of typing it all, some instances and thoughts were coming to my mind that I just wanted to just hop on here and share with you real quick. So first of all, what I'll be sharing with you tomorrow had to deal with um, this weekend, I got to MC a fashion show at our church and I always enjoy doing that. And we've been doing this for 18 years and it's just such a blessing. I have a blast doing it, but I wanted ladies to um, <clears throat> know who they were because we are often so critical of ourselves. When we look in the mirror or whatever, you get up in the morning, you have aches and pains or something. We're always our own worst critics. At least I know that I am. And sometimes we tell ourselves that we are this, 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 but we're really not. So I wanted to come up with things that we are. And some words that I came up with were, um, I am chosen. I am loved. I'm a friend of God. I'm a child of God. I am precious. I am valued. I'm created in his image. I'm awesome and wonderfully made. I'm his. I'm known. And there's so much more that I want to share with you. So I decided that I'm just going to take it and do like a quick little mini series of journal entries to share with you. So while I was typing this morning, and I was thinking about all the flaws and how critical we are on each other and everything. And, and, um, but I'm like, you know, before we got started that day, this lady came up to me and I can't remember who it was. I'm sure she's, I don't know if she was a precious good friend of mine or just someone I know from church. I can't remember, but she's like, so you got lipstick on your teeth. And I was like, oh, thank you. Cause I love that. I love that when somebody says, hey, you got some, uh, pepper in your teeth or something, or, you know, you got something on your hair, whatever. So I appreciate that because I don't want to be walking around looking like I'm a crazy woman with lipstick all on my teeth and I'm smiling because I've happened so many times in my life. So I was like, oh, thank you. And I took it off. And she was, she was gracious whenever she pointed out the little flaw that I had. And, and I was so grateful for it. But I want you to know that we don't have to be all cleaned up for God. Um, Y'all, our Bible tells us multiple times um, that whenever we have our imperfections, in 1 John 1, 19, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He, he's, he does that. When you come to him and you confess your sin and be specific, he's going to forgive you if you are pure and intentionally on your heart. In Ephesians 2, 8, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And it is not your own doing. It is a gift from God. So when I was thinking about all of our flaws and, and different things that we are critical on, we don't have to go and change these things. Because God wants us as we are whenever we're talking about the sins in our life. It's a gift from him that he gives us. It's nothing of our own doing. Um, you know, when my friend pointed out to me that I had lipstick on my teeth, in Galatians 6.1, it says, Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you be tempted. And so it's almost like not having a lipstick on my teeth is a sin, but it's like she was pointing a flaw. She was pointing something out to me and she did it graciously. And we are to do that with our Christian brothers and sisters. Y'all, sometimes we're like, oh my gosh, I can't tell them that what they're doing is wrong. Um, maybe they're cheating on a spouse. Um, hello. Maybe they are um, e excessively doing something that is causing harm to a witness or whatever. And we sometimes back away and, and we feel like we are not in the right place to tell somebody or call them out. Y'all, we are supposed to, with graciousness, love, and gentleness, if we have Christian brothers and sisters, especially those you are just close to and, and they're doing something that you know they shouldn't be doing, you know what? Call them out. Let them know about that lipstick on their teeth. Let them know about that sin in their lives because sometimes they just may have had a slow fade like that. I believe the Casting Crown song goes and they're kind of wallowing in their sin and they don't even realize it. 
But if you go to them and you graciously say, hey, listen, brother, listen, sister, this is what I see is going on in your life. How can I help you? Let me pray with you because this is wrong. This is wrong. And um, some confession and some wholeness needs to be made by them and God and whoever in their party or whatever is going on. So I pray that you will be bold in how you approach your brothers and sisters in Christ with gentleness and love and truth. And always pray before you go and you do this. But also do that for yourself. Each day, it would be great if you're opening up God's word and you're looking up to him and you're like, God, you know, test me and make known in me what I need to make right with you. And you know what he does, and he will. And it's like every day you have a clean slate and you'll wake up and you'll just start fresh with God. And he's going to make it known and he's going to help you to be um, that new creature in Christ that you should be. Because when you have that walk with Christ, y'all, it shouldn't just be a talk the talk kind of thing. You need to be walking it. You need to have a transformed life. So whether it's your own lipstick on your teeth or something or, or, the, um, or you see it on someone else, don't be so critical, but do gracious and loving concern. Don't be critical. Be concerning to yourself and to others. So I hope you got something out of this today because I feel like I'm just talking in circles right now, but I've got so much I could share, and there's um, so many instances that come to my mind that, y'all, we don't need to be so hard on ourselves because we are made in the image of God. And when we look in the mirror, we need to make sure that those simple little flaws that we see that are not a sin, that's just part of life, part of growing up, character lines and what have you, um, you need to make sure that you are created in God's image. So don't be talking bad about your God and his image. Look at yourself and say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So have a great day. And remember, be concerned, not critical. Take care.